isn't this bike overrated? Overrated as in... But who gave the rating? <laughs> I mean, who gave the rating? I mean, de definitely there's some standardization in terms of rating. So, welcome back to another video, guys. Today, I'm here with Ong. Superhero I... Ong. And uh, you brought me a track Madone. Yes, correct. Track Madone is uh, getting too popular on my channel. Everybody always <laughs> complain. Hey, always uh, track Madone, TCI and all this, right? Yeah, I was, uh, I was kind of worried if... Uh, you are not taking any more track my dog. I'm, I'm always taking whoever comes on my channel, I'll take whatever that comes. Uh. Okay. I mean, just people that are very picky, they always tell me too many Madones and TCR, but mm -hmm. too bad, uh, that is the popular bike models here, right? Um, Ong, thank you so much for coming on my channel. Uh, okay. Could you please run us through your bike and introduce yourself? Okay, uh, hi, I'm Ong. Uh, some people know me as Cap. I'm a Marvel fan, as you can see from my, my collections. So this uh, is a track Madon SLR. Project 1. Okay, I think Project 1 is quite familiar in this channel. So you all know that you have to pay extra money in order to customize this color. So this color scheme was uh, actually in 2018. It was the track Tour de France team. They will use this color scheme. So I, the first glance of it, I completely fall in love with this color. So, but I know the price is not cheap. So after a very long consideration, then I finally decided that I should get it from track themselves instead of getting a second-hand one. Because I have gone through a few second-hand sellers, uh, I realized that there's a very difficult to actually maintain the bike, especially white color. So there are, there are sellers out there that are selling the similar color. However, after going through, I saw that there are some minor scratches and I'm, I'm kind of a bit particular and a bit OCD on all these aspects. So, I decided to get it from Technology instead, uh, Technology Singapore. Uh. My group set, this is not the original group set. When I bought the bicycle from Trek, it was the Altigra mechanic group set with the standard Bond Trigger wheel set. So after that, I upgraded. I, I bought the wheel set from Elite Custom. I brought the group set from Day Junction and uh, thanks to Jace from Day Junction. Then after that, I got a guy called Kelvin which is a home base, a home base mechanic to help me fix up the whole bike, assemble the whole bike. So uh, the decal, I got it from Carousel. It's not the original NV, uh, so-called, what do you call that, the authorized decal maker. La. So I, I got it from this guy called Li Jian. Li Jian. Uh, I think it's called, his Carousel is called Clone Slayer or something. So he managed to customize the decal for me. I it myself. I'm glad that it turns out very well because it's quite complement the color and uh, the white is not pearly white because the Pat Madon is actually a pearly white if you I think later you will show the close-up. So I'm a, a safety person so <laughs> and nowadays a lot of anti cyclists so I, I just want to play safe like I got a front and back cyclic camera plus light. Huh? So this is called the Fly 6 and the Fly 12. And this group set comes with a power meter so I do not need to get the standard pedal power meter. So any other question yeah. you want to know? <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks for running through your bike. Yeah. What is your height and the size of the frame? Okay, my height is about 170. This The size of the frame is 50, 50. Of course, the track, the person that attended to me is called Nase. He actually, initially he introduced, according to their, what do you call that, the bike charge. They actually recommended me 52. However, because I have a short legs, uh, short inseam, so I prefer to have more comfortable when, especially when traffic light, I can rest myself instead of standing in uh, one leg. So <laughs> I got the size 50 instead. Uh, just want to say that your wife is behind the camera. So uh, yeah. can I can I ask every question or am I? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. No, no. You, can, you can go ahead. I saw it's not, not too sensitive. Uh, I, I know that this uh, wife bicycle <laughs> kind of question. I'm kind of well prepared for all the questions. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what is the price of the bike? Okay, the price of the bike. Okay, initially when I got it from uh, Technology, is uh, because it's a Project One. Project One previously it was one thousand additional one thousand dollars USD. However, now they mark up to I think thousand two when I purchased the bike. So you have on top of the usual standard price, you have to top up a thousand two hundred USD if I'm not wrong. So and plus the standard group set, the lowest uh, lowest end group set, so it's about 12,200 12, or 20 or something like that. That's from uh, Technology. Then after that, I like, like, like you see from here, I upgrade all the parts. 
So the wheel set itself from Elite Custom was about 4K, about there, about there. I think if you first time purchase from them, you got some 10% discount if I'm not wrong. Correct me. Uh. <laughs> then uh, the group set is about $6,600. Wow. Then uh, of course everyone, the standard question, I'm uh, sorry, I, uh, yeah, in case <laughs> you all cannot see the OSPW. The OSPW plus the bottom bracket, ceramic speed bottom bracket is about uh, Sorry, idea. <laughs> it's thousand six hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. So, what 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 do you think about the OSTW? Do you think you take one thousand six for the for that that small thing there? I still don't understand. Like, <laughs> no worry. I'm on your side. I still don't understand why people pay one thousand six for that that thing uh. So, on, since you are talking about that, right? Yes, uh, yes. Is it worth one thousand six? Uh, if you ask me, I mean, I believe. I strongly believe that. Whoever that's watching this video uh, will agree with me that this is a beautiful bike. <laughs> this is not just a bicycle, this is a piece of art. And this is like the future, okay? <laughs> so aesthetic to the max that I can and to the best of my knowledge. Red, white, black. I mean, I mean where else can you get? There are actually, <laughs> Sorry to say this. There are actually questions on the paint scheme <laughs> which I will ask later. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, so yeah, so performance uh, makes a difference or no difference? Uh, like I said, I just upgraded the parts and if you see, this bike is quite clean because it's just fresh from the oven. And so I didn't really get the much chance to test it, but I have other bicycles. Uh, I don't think OSPW actually plays a part. I don't think so. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm just not that professional to tell the difference. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. I always mm -hmm. ask this question, but because mm -hmm. one of it, um, because everyone on in my riding group or everyone I see has OSTW, I'm the only one who does not have OSTW. So I'm curious to know if it actually makes a difference before I make that thousand dollar investment. Okay, actually, uh, I actually throw this question to Jace. Uh, Jace from Tay Junction. Uh. She is a she is an expert on SRAM component. Uh. So she actually recommended me not to get the OSTW because she says that uh, you will actually damage it or some alignment issue or what. However. After some consideration, I don't say much. Uh, some consideration, I think that is still worth it, uh, Because as, I mean, I mean, we have to be honest to ourselves. I mean, aesthetically wise, come on, red and white is so matching. <laughs> I mean, correct, no? correct me. Correct. <laughs> I have to agree. The Madone frame is very nice. I like, I like it, but it's a heavy bike. So what's the weight? I weighed it. I mean, some. I, I, I mean, it's about eight, eight to eight point two three about about there, uh, If I'm not wrong, about there, about plus minus. I think it's because of the group set. The group set is not the lightest group set compared to Shimano. Yeah. And because it's a power meter as well. Yes. So how is this bike? Do you like it? Uh, well, what do you not like about this bike? What I not like it? Uh, uh, I wouldn't say not like it uh, because it's part of it. Uh. I, if you say not like it, the only part is when you are cleaning. But even when I'm cleaning, uh, I look at it. Uh, I, I mean, it reminds me of the love. You see. I, I just cannot. I mean, you have to you have to be in my shoe in order to understand. You see, when I clean it, I look at the color. I, you know, that kind of what we call that shock. Yeah, that kind of feeling. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming on the flat, this 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 uh, bike goes the longest and, and the very fast on on flat. Yep. And how about it climbing? Cause it's a heavy bike and it's an aero frame. Can you climb? I that time when I went with my Madon group, we went to Sentosa. I mean, I might not be the fittest lah. I saw a few of them actually climb quite fast. Eh. So. Maybe because I'm not the strongest rider. <laughs> I'm definitely not the strongest rider, la, but <laughs> Madon can climb actually. Uh, okay, so that's on the frame. So wheels, why do you choose Envy's and uh, Chris King Hub? Okay, the, okay, coming to this, the, I, before I got this MV, I was there's two options. I narrowed down to Princeton, the one that is so popular right now, a lot of pros is switching to, and MV. La. But because I actually, I copied this color scheme from a guy called Zul. La. DZUL from uh, also Instagram, I think it's from KL. So I copy the color scheme from him. Then, if I if I were to get the Princeton wheels, there's no way I can do the color combination and the complementary of the color la. So in, in in the end, I got the MV in order to complement the color. Madones come with ISO. Yes. This, uh, what, what what do you call this? ISO the? speed. ISO speed. ISO speed. Yes. Can you uh, tell our audience who is not familiar with this what's the function of ISO speed? Okay, uh, ISO speed is a uh, unique technology la, from track itself. La. Of course, uh, other brands you have other names. Basically, it's a way where you have some. They call this the ISO speed, and there's this uh, compliant 
So there's this rubber piece in between this red color portion and the main frame. And if you were to remove off the saddles, it's actually an L shape. So by adjusting this, this rubber piece uh, or this black color plastic piece or whatever you call that, forward and backward, uh, it actually adjust the compliance, meaning to say when you are riding, uh, it somehow absorb la, in a way, la, not much, la, but it somehow sh adjust the, the saddle positioning so you won't feel the impact in a way. Have you tried adjusting it? I didn't try to adjust it because uh, I think there's some, you need the talk right, talk to, oh, the uh, talk, right? so I didn't, I didn't do that, but I think now should be okay, la, the setting should be fine. For so me. since the day you bought it until now, it has been the default uh, position? Yes, yes. You were not curious to try playing around and... Uh, I. I don't like to damage my bike, <laughs> unless I'm going to the bike shop. Yeah. Um, this track factory racing, is it because it's the team's color? Yes, yeah, this is the team color. In fact, I when I went into track, uh, Nase, the salesperson who attended to me, I just showed him the photo. Then he said, uh, yeah, I know what you want. <laughs> so, but back then, uh, back then, uh, that was in 2020, December. So he told me the waiting time is about two months, three months. But yeah, actually one month, he told me one month or something like that. But in the end, I, I got the bike in March this year. Mm. You are running GT5000 tires as well? Yes. How are these tires and uh, have you tried other tires? Uh, what is the other one? The Corsa. Is Victoria it the, Corsa? Victoria Corsa. I find that the Victoria Corsa a bit... Uh, you have some drag. Uh, I think I think more friction on the road. Uh. Whereas this... Quite okay. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I'm also running uh, the same setup. I have mm -hmm. the same wheels and same tires. And uh, I like the GT5000. I've been mm -hmm. using it since the 4000S2 and I've never changed tires. Especially when cornering, right? is it? Uh, both flats and corner, I think it works fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never tried any other tires, so I really cannot comment or say that this is better than the other. Not tires. the one that, uh, what, uh, Gentle Giant, what, what is that? The Goodyear? Goodyear of, is it Goodyear? Yeah, yeah, uh, Goodyear. <laughs> Goodyear. <laughs> so I think the Goodyear is getting very popular now. Is it? Is it? It's called the Goodyear Eagle F1 or something. But I'm not sure if GP... The, do they have the different color wall? I, so I, I think yeah, yeah. So I, think I have so, yeah. the GP5000 that comes in the cream wall, oh, which looks yeah, like yeah, shit. Yes, yes. It looks like shit on my bike. Ah, shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the nicer one will look like the tan color. It's a bit more darker. I actually wanted to get the cream. Like, I think if I go wrong... It looks yeah, okay I think if, if I if, if I use the standard Bond Trigger wheel set, the, it will look nice with yeah. the cream wall. Yeah. Uh, for me, because I also have de white details and I just feel like if with the cream wall, there's too many things going on. Yes. Yeah. Just if you want to get a Madonna, get ready to burn your wallet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not only Madonna, I think now a lot of bikes are also yes, getting very, yes, very expensive. Yes, yes. And the so, waiting time is crazy. Yeah. So now what's the waiting time for I this bike? Heard, I last heard was 300 days. Eh. So that means even if you have money, you cannot get the bike. Eh. This is very, this is very scary. <laughs> yeah. We'll move on to the Instagram q and If you guys want to ask your questions, you can follow me on Instagram and you can submit the question. So, Hong, are you ready? Yeah. There's a lot of roasting questions on the pain. La. So <laughs> I, won't, I won't go there first, okay? Okay. The first question is, isn't this bike overrated? Overrated as in, but who gave the rating? <laughs> I mean, who gave the rating? I mean, definitely there's some standardization in terms of rating. So. If you say overrating, I wouldn't say it's overrating. I think probably the question is, is it overpriced? Is it, if you say overpriced, yes, because this amount, I think you could probably get some other brands, uh, which I, I don't want to mention, maybe two of it or three of it. Yeah. I think he, maybe he, he thought it's overrated because everyone in Singapore, maybe on my channel at least, is riding a Madone. Not so true, it, eh? maybe the reason why they ride a Madone is because it's so Maybe it's really good or you know a lot of people are just talk, raving about it. No, it really because I think this frame I should say that this frame look a bit mandy uh, because of the, the size of the tube. If you ask the lady to, to cycle a uh, Madon, I think now they have this size 47, the smallest. I actually got my wife to try it but still doesn't fit her. Uh, so probably it's because of the manliness of the bike and I, I don't want to say that there are more male cyclists but which is why it's popular. <laughs> I mean, on top of my list is a Venge, which is what I'm riding now, mm -hmm. a Pinarello F12, and the next is a Madone, man. But it seems like a lot of people are hating on me because I feature too many Madones. No, no true, eh. actually, <laughs> I, there was a time before I got Madone. Uh, previously, I, 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 was, I got an entry road bike. I was deciding whether which to upgrade. Uh. Actually, I, in my mind, there's a lot of specialized there. Eh. 
mm. if I'm not wrong, which is why I find that specialized is a bit too common that that's why I look further like Pinarello, Factor, and finally I fell in love with Fax. Yeah. Yeah, like we were talking offline, I said I wanted to buy F12, but I decided to drop it because of the price, man. The yes. frame was quoted to me for nine thousand Singapore dollars. That's <laughs> Uh, is it from the online or from the shop? No, itself? it's from, from the, a shop here. From the shop, uh, they, they like hammer you. I, I don't know. I don't know the price. I don't call me. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they told me nine thousand for a new one. So uh, never mind. Don't okay. buy. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Oh, what do I do for a living? I'm a civil servant. So uh, that, that doesn't mean that a civil servant is earning a lot. Uh. I live within my means. Uh, there are some things that I prioritize. Like let's say if you, I spend a little for some of the product, some of the the, the items are uh, grocery, but I spend more on bicycle. That's all. I thought you were a full-time superhero saving the day. I wish lah. I mean, how can you be a full-time superhero? If you watch some of the superhero cartoons, you were even like Spider-Man, they cannot even earn a living. I mean, that's, that's what happened lah. So yeah, superhero don't earn that much. <laughs> so can you tell us more about the cosplay? Uh, I've been doing this for quite, for almost 10 years already, eh, since 2012. So it was, uh, it was a long story lah. So after getting into cosplay, I get to know some of the cosplay friends and uh, we did charity events, and uh, it was meaningful. Uh. I mean, I mean, at least I can bring some happiness to, to the people, like the children or even the the under the less fortunate people. Mm. Good, good on you for doing that uh, yeah. with your costly. Uh, okay, next question is: Is the rider as fast as how bike looks? Uh, at this moment, not yet. But uh, rest assured that my fitness will go up, and this bike will likely be. Complimenting, I mean, both of us will be complimenting each other. <laughs> what made you go for this color scheme? Is it Spider Man or is the rider same age as Singapore because this looks like a Singapore color? Actually, when, if I, I think maybe later I said you, the, my previous road bike, the GT, uh, GT Sportive, if I know, it's also white and red based. And I wanted to get something similar to the Quantum Suit, like the, the end game. Hmm. So, white, red, plus, you know, I'm a nationalist and Singapore, <laughs> uh, and of course, uh, you can you can do it during Christmas. You can do it in like Chinese New Year, like some of them say. So we will give the last question, the honor to your wife, who I believe submitted this question. Do you know what was the question? I Did she tell you about it? I I, I tell her don't 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 don't, don't say tell that. you. Uh. Okay yeah. la, So the question is similar to one of my previous videos is: If your bike or your wife fell into the sea, which will you save first? Again, this one. Sounds hard, sounds like a difficult question, but very simple to, to answer. I will save the bike first. <laughs> if your wife and Madon both fall into the ocean, which will you save and why? Actually, uh, this I I think after I answer this question, most of you will use the same standard moral answer. Okay, this answer is very simple. If my Madon and my wife fell, regardless whether my wife know how to swim or not, I will save my wife. Do you learn do you learn this because of what Joel answered on my channel? The reason is because my wife knows how to swim. I wouldn't say I mean it comes naturally, uh, you know why or not? Because okay, uh, uh, maybe there are two reasons. Uh, okay, first reason is I don't believe that uh, materials should come first. I always believe that uh, people, I mean human uh, I mean you cannot get a second wife. I mean you can get a second wife, but not this wife. <laughs> so uh, that's one that's the first question. Then uh, that, I mean that's the first answer. Uh. Then the second answer is because if I were to lose my Madon and I save my wife, I strongly believe that my wife will likely get a better Madon for me. <laughs> wow, very good answer. Joel, if you're watching, <laughs> please learn from your friend here. Oh my god, Joel, you, you watched Joel's interview, yeah, right? Yeah, I watched Joel. I, I don't also, know what happened to him because actually I saw his Strava, he still managed to cycle. So I think maybe he bought uh, his wife another handbag or what, I Maybe a few nights of what, service yard or... <laughs> Um, whatever bag you want to buy, I will buy for you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that is the end actually. I have no more other questions. Uh, well, Do you want to say anything? Say anything. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, I wanted to thank a few people that... Uh, that I mean, my to my current state, uh, how I how I managed to get this bike or this. So, uh, like uh, TLC, TLC from uh, TFR. Then uh, Benjamin from Seng Bi. And... Uh, of course, just now I mentioned my salesperson, I mentioned the uh, and my Madon Madon Club group, which uh, a few people, Nicholas for introducing this group set to me, Chris for accepting me in the Madon group, and uh, and a lot more. I mean, uh, there's a lot more uh, There's Jimmy, there's Lawrence, there's Andrew, there's uh, Joel, there's Lawrence, and 
and those that actually use Andy Wales that give the encouragement. Thank you. Wow, this is like an Oscars. Uh. <laughs> uh, we are actually in a HTV car park, it's flooding here. <laughs> yeah, it's flooding, it's raining quite heavily. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we're going to film your bike, it's been raining non stop. So, uh, Ong, thank you so much for thank coming you. and uh, I hope to see you on the roads again. And uh, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you. You okay? Uh, can you clap very loud for me so I can sing the audio? Okay, hi uh, everyone. So earlier we actually missed this part. We were talking about how to clean a white color bike frame and how I managed to maintain this bicycle for so long. So usually people will use a very strong spray then whack the whole bicycle. Hey, come on, uh, we, uh, we don't waste water. So usually how I do it is I just need a rack. And uh, trust me, this after I review this secret, uh, I think most of the people will likely, the, maybe the stock, uh, the brand will go up. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. <laughs> actually, I use Kire Kire, really. And this, inside the bottle is actually Kire Kire. So, if you see, if you use Kire Kire, there's this foam here. Most of the time, uh, if you use Kire Kire, even the, those uh, bicycle, those chain loop, all these, uh, black dirt or whatever, you use this to wipe. Uh, you, I, I, right now, I don't have any dirt. Uh, okay, maybe you see this part. See? See, uh, you go. Okay, very clean, very neat, and see. If you see all the black dirt, it start to go off. So all you need is just a bit of foam from Kire Kire, and a piece of rag, and maybe you wet it a bit. Then after that, you clean it off. So what is this Kire Kire? Kire Kire is uh, more, I mean, from you can get it from NTUC. It's a hand wash, la. it's a foamy hand wash. Oh, hand wash. Uh, it's, yeah, it smells good also. Kire Kire. It comes in a green bottle, purple bottle, pink bottle, if I'm not wrong. Very small. I think you, you will know, la. I mean, because of COVID and nowadays, all these hygiene products all shoot up. How do you come to know about it? Actually, I tried a few, I mean, try and error. La. I, I used to use uh, kind of all kinds of. Uh, detergent or what but I, I find that this is the best best method first you save water second is very neat very simple you just wipe it off okay. I mean it's, it's, it's just like you picture this as uh, how do I say it? acid and alkaline so it's like uh, the enemy of those oil and dirt so here, here is 